Hello everybody! So what I have here today are beauty berries, and beauty berries you may have seen before. It is a very popular landscaping plant. Uh, if you go to like a botanical garden you might see it, or maybe just you might even have it like growing in your yard or something. This is something that is popular because it looks really beautiful. These are edible, but they don't taste super good. However, I was researching this and I found out that people make jam out of it. They make jam out of it, you can make juice out of it, and that is supposed to be really good. So today I'm going to try it raw, I'm gonna cook it, and we're gonna see if we can get this beautiful fruit to also taste beautiful. Before I go much further, I'd like to give a shout out to Ken. Ken is somebody who's contributed a lot of things to the channel in the past, especially peppers. If you're interested in growing peppers and maybe some other fruit, maybe Beauty Berry, uh, look at the description below. I'll put a link to his email address where you can contact him. All right, so I'm gonna take just a couple little berries and... As with uh, a lot of cases, although this is a beautiful fruit, it has no personality whatsoever. It, um, it has no flavor maybe like a hint of some sort of like little herbal kind of flavor there. Maybe like a hint of sweetness, but not really enough to really make the scale. Um, yeah, there's nothing there. So let's try cooking it. So to prepare your beauty berries, uh, what you do is you take them off of the stem and you wash them. So I've just been putting them into this little Tupperware full of water to kind of like loosen up some of the debris. So it's pretty easy to get them off. You just take the a hole of the stem, you kind of just like pull off the berries lightly. As you're doing this, you should look out for any berries that are damaged or don't look like they're good, any that have gone bad, and you get rid of these stems. You don't want those stems. And then they go into a little bowl of water. And it's probably a good idea to like sort through this a few times to make sure you're not eating anything you don't want to eat. Pot! One cup of beauty berries removed from the stems and cleaned. One cup of water. I'm gonna bring this to a boil. You let this cook at a low boil for about 20 minutes. So my beauty berries are coming along, it's about halfway through. One thing that happens is that they lose their color as they cook. That's kind of interesting. Got a bowl, got a strainer, and I have beauty berries that have been cooked in equal parts water for 20 minutes. The amount of liquid is greatly reduced, so I'm going to kind of squish these a bit, try to get a bit more out of there. Oh, that is very pungent, very, very pungent. Um, that needs to be diluted a lot. That flavor is, um, it's familiar, very familiar taste. I think it tastes like choke cherry. Yeah, which is used to make uh, like a drink in the Middle East. People make choke cherry. Uh, Sharbat, just like you take it with water and sugar. So let's try that. This is maybe like a third of a cup reduced. So I'm gonna put that back in there, turn it on high. I'm gonna put one cup of water in, a teaspoon of sugar, and how about a little splash of lemon juice. Oh, that changed the color on it, too. Splash of lemon juice. It's all right. It's all right. If I were to use more of that concentrate I made, it wouldn't taste very good. I think using a little bit of it, kind of just to get that beauty berry essence, is um, it's pretty nice. 
but putting sugar in there and putting lemon in there is a necessity. Actually, I think I would maybe put a little bit more sugar, a little bit more lemon in there to make it even better. And the flavor of this is very similar to the choke cherry charbat that I made many, many years ago. And what that flavor is, to put this in a way that is more relatable, so when I was a kid growing up in the 90s, we did this thing called uh, Smarty Soup, where you take Smarties, like the candy, which are like this like powdery kind of candy, you'd crush them up and mix it with water and drink it. It was disgusting. Uh, this kind of has a similar flavor to that, not disgusting, but a similar flavor to that, where it tastes like um, that sort of candy flavor like a powdery candy flavor, like Smarties do. I'd say the closest as far as a fruit flavor goes is maybe a little bit like cherry or maybe a touch of raspberry, but it's like, it's just like a kiss of it. It's really not a, a prominent flavor. However, this is good. I think the best use for this would be to make a jelly out of it like people do, or to do something like this. If you were to make a pitcher of lemonade and just throw in some of this beauty berry concentrate like I did, it will add like another dimension to it. On its own, not my favorite thing, but it's the sort of thing that if you have it like in your yard or something and you're wondering like, what can I do with that? This is a good way to use it. it takes a bit of trouble, but in the end you're left with something that does actually taste pretty good. Yeah, so that's about it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and um, thanks again to Ken for sending this to me. Again, if you're interested in growing fruit, uh, send Ken an email. I'll put his email in the description below, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I would like to give a shout-out to Smarter Every Day, AltPod, and the Harbor Leaf Tea Company. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. If you haven't heard of it, Patreon.com is... It's how this channel happens. It's how I can afford to keep this YouTube channel going. So if you haven't checked it out, please take a moment to go into the description below and click the link there. Uh, I also have t-shirts for sale over at my web store. A link to that is in the description as well. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.